Washington CDL Passenger Vehicles Test Question 1. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Emergency exit handles are secure. Every handhold and railing is secure. Rider signaling devices are working. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 2. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 5 feet. 100 feet. 10 yards. 50 feet. Answer. 50 feet. Question 3. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 500 pounds 300 pounds 250 pounds 100 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 4 which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency drug shipments Emergency hospital supplies Tear gas Small arms ammunition, ORMT Answer Tear gas Question 5. Never refuel your bus. With a higher grade of fuel. Without a static chain. In a closed building with passengers on board. With any of the windows open. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 6. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must Be secured when the bus is being driven Always have a red door light turned on Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it All of the above Answer Be secured when the bus is being driven Question 7. If the rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Not allow them to do it. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Have the rider pay a second fare. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Answer not allow them to do it. Question 8. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? Stopping time increases 1 second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 9 which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Stopping time increases 1 second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour.
you need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 10. Never refuel your bus. Without a static chain. In a closed building with passengers on board. With any of the windows open. With a higher grade of fuel. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 11. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 100 pounds 300 pounds 250 pounds 500 pounds Answer. 500 pounds. Question 12. You must not allow rider to stand. Within two feet of any window. In front of the standee line. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Between the wheel wells. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 13. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares. Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Answer Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 14. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. Any rider can use all exits. The driver can move freely and easily. All of the above. Answer All of the above. Question 15. Never refuel your bus. Without a static chain. With any of the windows open. With a higher grade of fuel. In a closed building with passengers on board. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 16. You must not allow rider to stand. In front of the standee line. Between the wheel wells. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Within two feet of any window. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 17. When you discharge an unruly passenger. You must choose a place that is Off the regular route The next stop As safe as possible, or the next stop Dark and poorly lighted Answer As safe as possible, or the next stop Question 18 when stopping for railroad tracks, 
You must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track. 20 15 25 50 Answer 15 Question 19 which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency hospital supplies Emergency drug shipments Tear gas Small arms ammunition, ORMT Answer Tear gas Question 20. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. If the distance is less than 500 yards. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 21. You must not allow rider to stand. Between the wheel wells. Within two feet of any window. In front of the standee line. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 22. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 4. 6. 0. 8. Answer. 0. Question 23. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency drug shipments. Emergency hospital supplies. Tear gas. Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Answer. Tear gas. Question 24. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Anywhere except the front wheels. Only on the front wheels. On any or all of the wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 25. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher. Signal flares. Answer. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 26. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Rider signaling devices are working. Every handhold and railing is secure. Emergency exit handles are secure. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 27. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? 
stopping time increases 1 second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Answer You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 28. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Always have a red door light turned on. All of the above. Answer Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 29. You must not allow rider to stand. In front of the standee line. Within two feet of any window. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Between the wheel wells. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 30. Never refuel your bus. In a closed building with passengers on board. Without a static chain. With any of the windows open. With a higher grade of fuel. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 31. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Have the rider pay a second fare. Not allow them to do it. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Answer not allow them to do it. Question 32. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. The driver can move freely and easily. Any rider can use all exits. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 33. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Right after starting the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. After completing the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 34. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. You can help impair drivers. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Accident reports will be accurate. Law enforcement personnel can be called. Answer You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 35. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 50 feet 10 yards 100 feet 5 feet Answer 50 feet Question 36 
When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is off the regular route. The next stop. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Dark and poorly lighted. Answer. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 37. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Emergency drug shipments. Tear gas. Emergency hospital supplies. Answer. Tear gas. Question 38. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 6 0 4 8 Answer 0 Question 39. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Only on the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. On any or all of the wheels. Anywhere except the front wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 40. You must not allow rider to stand. Between the wheel wells. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Within two feet of any window. In front of the standee line. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 41. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only if required by company policy. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Always. Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Answer. Always. Question 42. Never refuel your bus. In a closed building with passengers on board. With any of the windows open. With a higher grade of fuel. Without a static chain. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 43. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is Dark and poorly lighted Off the regular route The next stop As safe as possible, or the next stop Answer As safe as possible, or the next stop Question 44. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Tear gas. Emergency drug shipments. Emergency hospital supplies. Answer. Tear gas. Question 45. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Only on the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. On any or all of the wheels. Anywhere except the front wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels.
Question 46, which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency drug shipments. Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Emergency hospital supplies. Tear gas. Answer. Tear gas. Question 47. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 500 pounds 250 pounds 300 pounds 100 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 48 if the rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Not allow them to do it. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Have the rider pay a second fare. Answer Not allow them to do it. Question 49. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? Any rider can use all exits. The driver can move freely and easily. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 50. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? Zero. Four. Eight. Six. Answer. Zero. Question 51. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Law enforcement personnel can be called. You can help impair drivers. Accident reports will be accurate. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 52. Never refuel your bus. Without a static chain. In a closed building with passengers on board. With a higher grade of fuel. With any of the windows open. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 53. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 6. 8. 0. 4. Answer. 8. Question 54. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 50. 15. 20. 25. Answer. 15. Question 55. Never refuel your bus. With a higher grade of fuel. With any of the windows open. 
in a closed building with passengers on board. Without a static chain. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 56. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is. The next stop. Off the regular route. Dark and poorly lighted. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Answer. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 57. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. Accident reports will be accurate. Law enforcement personnel can be called. You can help impair drivers. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 58. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Only if required by company policy. Always. Answer. Always. Question 59. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Before and after signaling the change. Right after starting the lane change. After completing the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 60. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is. Off the regular route. The next stop. Dark and poorly lighted. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Answer. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 61. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. Law enforcement personnel can be called. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. You can help impair drivers. Accident reports will be accurate. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 62. You must not allow rider to stand. Between the wheel wells. In front of the standee line. Within two feet of any window. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 63. If the rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Not allow them to do it. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Have the rider pay a second fare. Answer. Not allow them to do it. Question 64. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Tear gas. Emergency hospital supplies. Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Emergency drug shipments. 
Answer. Tear gas. Question 65. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? After completing the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. Right after starting the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 66. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Not allow them to do it. Have the rider pay a second fare. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Answer not allow them to do it. Question 67. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors, hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares, reflectors, fire extinguisher. Accident reporting kit. Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Answer. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 68. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 5 feet, 10 yards, 100 feet, 50 feet. Answer. 50 feet. Question 69. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Emergency exit handles are secure. Rider signaling devices are working. Every handhold and railing is secure. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 70. Never refuel your bus. With any of the windows open. Without a static chain. With a higher grade of fuel. In a closed building with passengers on board. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 71. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Answer. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 72. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. The driver can move freely and easily. Any rider can use all exits. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 73. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. Law enforcement personnel can be called. 
you can help impair drivers. Accident reports will be accurate. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Answer You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 74 When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Before and after signaling the change. After completing the lane change. Right after starting the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 75. You must not allow rider to stand. In front of the standee line. Between the wheel wells. Within two feet of any window. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 76. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Stopping time increases 1 second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Answer You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 77 You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 500 pounds 250 pounds 100 pounds 300 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 78 which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency drug shipments Emergency hospital supplies Small arms ammunition, ORMT Tear gas Answer Tear gas Question 79. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 0 8 6 4 Answer 8 Question 80. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 25 15 20 50 Answer 15 Question 81 When inspecting your bus you must make sure that Every handhold and railing is secure. Emergency exit handles are secure. Rider signaling devices are working. All of the above. Answer All of the above. Question 82 if there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 5 feet 
50 feet 10 yards 100 feet Answer 50 feet Question 83 If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Always have a red door light turned on. All of the above. Answer Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 84. Never refuel your bus. Without a static chain. In a closed building with passengers on board. With a higher grade of fuel. With any of the windows open. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 85. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 86 Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Small arms ammunition, ORMD. Tear gas. Emergency drug shipments. Emergency hospital supplies. Answer. Tear gas. Question 87. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must. Always have a red door light turned on. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. All of the above. Answer Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 88. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only if required by company policy. Always. Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Answer. Always. Question 89. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? Any rider can use all exits. The driver can move freely and easily. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. All of the above. Answer All of the above. Question 90. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 250 pounds 300 pounds 100 pounds 500 pounds Answer 500 pounds. Question 91. 
If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 100 feet 10 yards 50 feet 5 feet Answer 50 feet Question 92. Never refuel your bus. With a higher grade of fuel. With any of the windows open. Without a static chain. In a closed building with passengers on board. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 93. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Anywhere except the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Only on the front wheels. On any or all of the wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 94. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Every handhold and railing is secure. Rider signaling devices are working. Emergency exit handles are secure. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 95. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. If the distance is less than 500 yards. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 96. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency drug shipments. Emergency hospital supplies. Tear gas. Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Answer. Tear gas. Question 97. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Right after starting the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. After completing the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 98. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must. Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. Always have a red door light turned on. Be secured when the bus is being driven. All of the above. Answer. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 99. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 50 feet. 100 feet. 10 yards, 5 feet. Answer. 50 feet. Question 100. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Only on the front wheels. Anywhere except the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. 
on any or all of the wheels? Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 101. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? The driver can move freely and easily. Any rider can use all exits. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.